Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Motivational Moments. I've been so excited to be able to talk to you today about Betty White, the beloved Betty White. Wasn't she amazing? What a great role model we had for women with guts. She was one gutsy broad, eh? Anyway, I've been doing some research on anything I could find on the internet. And of course, People Magazine, who prematurely <laughs> announced her 100th birthday a little early. But anyway, um, they didn't know what they didn't know, right? But um, she passed away, as you probably know, um, on December 31st, 2021, at the age of 99. And it was just two weeks shy of her 100th birthday. And what a celebration that would have been, but everyone celebrated her anyway. She was one remarkable lady. And I think that most of us knew her as a wonderful actress, someone that had a terrific sense of humor, someone that loved and supported animals, and was married to Alan Ludden, who was the host of Password. Unfortunately, her husband died at age 63 in 1981, and I don't think she's fully recovered from that loss. And I heard that every night before she goes to bed, she blows a kiss to his picture, which is right next to her bed. Amazing. She also um, didn't like green food. She didn't really like healthy food necessarily, and her favorite choice of meals was just a plain old hot dog, and her favorite drink was vodka and maybe a little bit of orange juice thrown in there. So, you know, who's to say what the secret is to a long life? But from the research that I've done, she was born to, um, she was an only child, and her mother was a homemaker, and her husband worked for um, a lighting equipment company, but her mother was extremely positive and always looked on the bright side. And that's where Betty White claims that she got that positive attitude, looking for the silver lining in everything that she did and everything that she experienced. She always looked at the bright side and maintained her sense of humor. And just because she did that, I think that led to a nice, long, healthy life for Betty White. But I wanted to give you some other insights that I learned about her that you may or may not know. I, I certainly didn't. I didn't know that she grew up in Oak Park, Illinois. I'm from Glenview, Illinois. I had no idea that she had lived in Illinois and was born there. Uh, I know her family moved to uh, California, and that's when she started in her entertainment career. In fact, I think her first entertainment stint was in 1939 when she was in high school and she was on TV for something, some sort of, uh, some minuscule role, but that was her start. So uh, let me read some of these because I think that you'll be interested and kind of impressed of how she's moved through her life, being a trendsetter and setting standards for other women to break that glass ceiling and to do things beyond your comfort zone. She did that awfully early. Um, and I wanted to tell you about uh, one of the things that she did was um, she was a, a Guinness World Record holder. Go figure. Because... She had been in television for over 70 years. Now, when she held that record in that book at that time, it was in 2014. It was in the 2014 edition. So think of how many more years she had after that and how successful she became. But she was the longest TV career for an entertainer at that time. And she also, um, she's won many uh, Emmys. Uh, she's been nominated, I think, for like 21, and she's won five. So she's really done things at a very young age for a very long time. Um, now, when she was doing her um, acting, and she worked in theater, and she worked in radio, and she was a model, and this was, you know, 1939, 1940, but her career kind of got derailed when she volunteered when the war broke out, World War II. It says she shelved her ambitions and joined the American Women's Voluntary 
services. Her days were devoted to delivering supplies via the PX truck throughout the Hollywood Hills, but her nights were spent at rousing dances thrown to give grand send-offs to soldiers set to ship out. Of that era, she told Cleveland Magazine, it was a strange time and out of balance with everything. So she really is a passionate person. We know she's passionate about animals, but she was passionate about helping people in, during the war and the war efforts. Um, in 1951 is when she won that, um, that first of 21 Emmy nominations, and then she end, ended up winning, winning an Emmy five times after that. So in the 1950s is when she started getting into sitcoms and becoming popular. Another thing that I thought was very interesting that you may or may not know is that she was so passionate and supportive and excited about parades. She loved a parade. And from 1962 to 1971, Betty White hosted the NBC's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And she did that with Bonanza's Lauren Green. I don't know if anybody remembers those days, but I do. I remember Betty White being the host and being so excited about it. She was excited about everything. And then between 1956 and 1976, for 20 years, she was also the color commentator for the NBC's annual Tournament of Roses Parade. So she really was entrenched <laughs> in, the in the parade route, I'll tell you that much. Anyway, but when she got to be more um, popular on the Mary uh, Tyler Moore show, NBC decided that they, they probably should pull Betty White from that. You know, it was kind of a distraction and they wanted her to focus on Mary Tyler Moore's show. So anyway, she was really very heartbroken. And from what I read, she said after that, she said, I just sat home feeling wretched. <laughs> she, was wa she said, I was watching someone else do my parade. Isn't that fun? She just was embraced everything with such a warm, passionate spirit. Um, another tidbit I learned is that if she hadn't been an actor, actress, she would have been a zookeeper. And she loved those animals, all kinds of animals. And she did pass on a role in As Good As It Gets because, I don't know if you remember this in the movie, that um, her the person in the, in the movie, the dog, was thrown down a trash, um, trash chute. And so she was just mortified that that could be in a movie and that she thought that if somebody saw that and she was representing that character doing that and it, that it was perceived to be okay that maybe somebody would think that was okay and model that kind of behavior. So she didn't want to have, it, have anything to do with that movie because it portrayed animals in a, in a negative light and it showed um, a form of animal cruelty. So good for her for standing up for her morals. She's amazing. Um, also, Betty White was the oldest person to ever host Saturday Night Live. What a milestone. Um, she also was the oldest person to earn an Emmy nomination, and she had 21 of them. She loved junk food, as I had mentioned. She loves hot dogs. She liked anything that wasn't green, and she loved her vodka. <laughs> so she was quite the character. Besides her love of Alan Ludden, who died in 1981, and she never remarried after that, she had a big crush on Robert Redford. In fact, uh, one of her birthdays in her 90s, somebody had given her a one of those cutouts, those, you know, life-size cutouts of Robert Redford, and she just would kiss it and hug it. She just loved Robert. I mean, who wouldn't and who doesn't? But anyway, she just was so full of life, and I think that we can all learn a lot from Betty White and the way she lived her life you know, with such passion. And I thought of like, here's the five things that uh, were my takeaways about Betty White. Number one, again, she was a trendsetter. She didn't know what she didn't know. You know what I mean? Like she just kept moving forward as a woman and breaking barriers. Um, and she was one of the first female producers of a show called Life with Elizabeth. 
And that was something that wasn't even done back in the day, but she was one of the first female producers of a show on television. Um, again, her, my second favorite thing about Betty is, a, again, her passion. Her passion for life, her passion for animals, and her passion for people. The third thing about Betty White that is a good takeaway for all of us is that, that incredible sense of humor. She just thought everything was funny. And I think that really carried her a long way in her life and in her career. She also didn't take herself too seriously, which is also important. She really did, you know, use herself as a way of, of making jokes. And she d didn't seem to make jokes against other people in a terribly negative way. She always did it in a funny and a kind way. Um, and again, she always found the silver lining. And that's what she learned from her parents, mostly her mother, at a very young age. And that certainly served her very well. So my message to all of you and to myself as well is that let's learn from Betty White. Let's not let those 99 years of her life go to waste. She's a role model for us. She's an inspiration to us. And she lived life to the fullest. So what do you want to do with your life? How do you want to live your life? How, what's your passion? What do you want, you know, think about, are you passionate about animals? Are you passionate about helping other women? Are you passionate about, what is it? I don't know what it is for you, but whatever it is, find it, do it, embrace it, and do it with so much passion as Betty White had done. Be a trendsetter, get out of your comfort zone, go places where you didn't think you could go as a woman, break those barriers, and just live life every day and be good and kind to everyone. So thank you for tuning in today. And I hope that you were inspired with these um, tidbits about Betty White as I was doing the research to find out more about Betty's background and the way she lived her life with gusto. A true women with guts. Take care. I'll see you next week. <laughs>